I think it's absolutely unfair statement, and I think it's untrue. Uh, the people of this country have a right to express their opinions in a, a peaceable way. There's been no, there is no declaration of war. There are no war controls on free speech. And I personally think this war is the most unwise foreign policy action in American history. And if American people would be straightjacketed, we have no Hitler fear or principle. This is a free country where people can freely state their views. And to take the many millions of people who participated in this, either overtly by marching or by supporting the movement, and uh, claim that they put themselves in bed with the communists to be about on the level if you an eclipse of the moon was coming, and the Russian almanac, a communist almanac, said there's going to be an eclipse of the moon the 15th of next month, and our almanac said there's be an eclipse of the moon. It'd be about like saying, well, you're agreeing with the communists. You've got the same eclipse starting the same day the communists say it's going what? to be. It's just about that sensible. Well, to the blacks, it means suppression, and it means brutality. Uh, that's what it really means. Uh, I think it's unfortunate that it means this. Uh, we hope that uh, we all recognize we must have law in order to have an orderly society. Uh, the blacks are the victims of most crime, of most street crimes. Uh, we're the victims of most of the white-collar crimes in that the drug manufacturers who put out these uh, kooky drugs uh, prey on the little people. So we, we do have to, to overcome this barrier. I think it's quite uh, unfair when we talk about trying to solve crime in all of our communities that we really get hung up on an emotional issue, which is a real issue, and that is uh, brutality. Now, we've got it, and we've got to resolve it. And I think until we do, we can't really solve crime. Mayor Blackwell, city mayors normally control their police department. Do you control yours? Yes, we do. Uh, my job is a full-time, full administrative job, and uh, we control our police department to the extent that uh, we might have to fire them all and rely on state troopers or National Guardsmen, but if that's going to be the choice, then that's the decision I'll make. Well, we like to help these boys to increase their efforts to improve the livestock industry. The breeding purposes is to produce more edible beef, and we appreciate this effort, and our contribution goes a long way to help these youngsters keep this program going. We appreciate all the uh, efforts of the adult who help in this, the businessmen who uh, will go along with this program in purchasing this cattle, because after all, it isn't the price you pay, it's what you're paying to help these youngsters produce for the future for all of us concerned.
Ben, it's quite a deal, isn't it? Oh, I tell you, this is real nice. I really like it, I tell you. What are you going to do with all that money? I'm going to put it in the bank and save it for college. And I'm what? going to Tarleton on it. Talk about this calf just a bit. What happened on this calf? Where, where did it come from? Well, I bought this calf here through an auction barn. I called him Daddy's Auction Barn. I bought him through there, and he weighed about 500 when I bought him. And uh, I've, been had, I've had him on feed, uh, feed since July. Operation intercept with hefty solve the drug problem in Dallas. Uh, that this might be the answer to the drug problem here. Well, of course, when we heard about it, the operation intercept. This is marijuana, Mary Jane pot weed. In some areas of Mexico, it has replaced corn as the cash crop. Most of the marijuana arriving in Dallas is grown in the foothills of the Sierra Madres. It comes to Dallas by air and hidden in spare auto tires. It comes in one kilo blocks. A kilo computes at about 2.2 pounds. The Mexican marijuana farmer gets about $4 a block. By the time it is retail in Dallas, that kilo will bring about $250. To stem an ever-increasing flow of marijuana across the Rio Grande, U.S. and Mexican authorities began Operation Intercept late in September. The howls of protest arranged from irate tourists to Mexican law officials and politicians, many of whom, it is said, collect payoffs from the farmers and dealers. Operation Intercept still is in effect, insist federal narcotics agencies and may yet stem that flow. I talked to C.J. Cardemus, director of the Federal Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs Bureau here, about it. Some people are laboring under the misapprehension that Operation Intercept indeed is over. Uh, is it? No, Operation Intercept uh, is still very much alive and uh, will continue for some time. Have you determined a change in the price, the open market price of marijuana? Is there a change in it? Yes, there is a change. Uh, the price has probably risen uh, approximately $20 uh, per pound for marijuana in this area. Uh, 
this twenty dollars per pound do you mean this is to the retailer who resells it to the peddler for the making of cigarettes uh, or, or the uh, the last distributor no this is the fairly substantial uh, dealer that handles pound and kilogram quantities uh, of marijuana what about the price of a marijuana cigarette off the streets uh, through through a, a peddler that has probably uh, pretty well remained the same as it always has been Director W.B. Frazier of the Dallas Police Vice Squad says his agents have detected little, if any, effect of Operation Intercept on Dallas drug traffic and expresses regret that the intensity of the campaign has waned. The project has been going on now for some time, and uh, as far as I know, we have felt no, or has shown no visible signs here in the Dallas area and it might take uh, several months before we could uh, see any depreciable uh, effect. While tourists and Mexican authorities cried in protest as cars stacked up at border checkpoints, somewhat unnoticed was a genuine crackdown on air traffic, a major source of a good percentage of marijuana coming into this country. And at least this phase of the operation is continuing. No one expects to stop it, especially in light of all the reaction to Operation Intercept, but narcotics agents are more determined than ever to make it more expensive than ever for users. This is Tommy Ayers reporting for Channel 8 News.